hard hit of all the hospitals in Italy. This killer pandemic is virtually out of control. The patients are literally gasping for air. percent controls more wealth now than at any time in more than a half century. The new variant is spreading rapidly in many countries. South Africa in particular is seeing an alarming wave of infections. More young children are being hospitalized and authorities are concerned that people who've already had COVID-19 are being reinfected. Homelessness across the country is on the increase for the first time in seven years, in part because of rising rents and income. The United States would come to Taiwan's defense if yes, China attacked. Yes, we have a commitment. I don't want to call war with China. I just want to make China understand that we are not going to step back. We are not Pentagon going to change The Pentagon says it successfully tested a missile defense system that could protect the United States. Why? Why? I keep thinking to myself, why? To what end? I don't know. Yard line. The rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. Straight ahead, Ronnie Brown. To about 49, close to the 40. Ty Moore gets the stop. Well, the one thing positive for Miami so far is the way I get it, but lighten up, will you? Look. Life's a bitch, and then you die. How prosaic. The issue here isn't tragedy, it's malevolence. How about you get your act together, and you'll realize that society isn't as mean as you make it out to be. No measure of health to be well adjusted in a profoundly sick society. <laughs> Where'd you get that from, I wonder? Thanks for coming. Oh, Drive safe, everyone. Yeah. Drive safe. <coughs> hey, feeling okay? Yeah, I shouldn't have come. Don't let Ethan get under your skin, okay? He can be a bit of a know-it-all sometimes. You think? But he does care about you, okay? He just has a hard time showing it. I'm his cousin too, you know. I've had that come to Jesus talk many times <laughs> in just the last few years, so I get it. Uh, yeah, I know. It's it's not about him. Is it about your book? No, but... I still haven't heard anything back from the publishers yet, either, and... Hey, have a good night! 
Thank you for coming. Uh, yeah, it was a great, great party, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good night. Drive safe. Do you want to talk about it on our walk next week? Sure. Okay. Hey, if you need anything, just let us know, okay? Ohana. Okay. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Three seconds. Two. One. Zero. David. What's the matter? Nothing. I was just thinking. Oh yeah? What about? Going through another one of your bouts of melancholy, aren't you? Never ended. Yesterday I spent the entire day sitting in bed just staring at the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. There's nothing to mean. I literally did just that. And don't say I should just get another hobby. I've heard enough about that from Ethan. Are you sure you're doing okay? You've been like this since you left his house. Grandma's been asking about you. Why are you distancing yourself from everybody? I'm not distancing myself. Yes, you are, and it's starting to annoy me. I. You don't have to go through everything alone. Like you said, it takes a village to form a mind. Yeah, I know. So are you gonna tell me what happened between you and Miriam? Hey, who the fuck told you about her? I have my ways. So? She ghosted me. What? Why? She was pretty fucked up herself, too. Lots of trauma to go through. I don't blame her. But she could have at least have said goodbye. 
it made me feel so inadequate. Like, I'm such a miserable wretch. She'd rather pretend hey, I never... stop saying that. You are not a wretch. I know. Yeah, well, stop. Is that why you've been all moody these past few weeks? It's not just that, it's really a bad mix of everything. I've also been trying to look for a living wage somewhere, anywhere in this godforsaken city. Well, I'm not gonna say that wasn't a shitty thing to do on her part. As for the job, what'd you expect? You're a student, and our economy is crap. Isn't that fucked up, though? Students must starve, meanwhile boomers had dirt cheap college, could afford a mortgage, and have a family, all while working part fucking time, all at the same time, and we just have to figure it out? Look, I'm over it. Found a job a couple days ago. That should help with the financial anxiety, at well, least. Where at? Our house down south. My God knows I'm miserable now. Back to pushing boxes again. Hey, there is nothing wrong with that. It just ain't for everybody, you know? Look, you'll find a job someday, eventually, that you'll actually like. You're just overthinking everything, as usual. Exactly. So, stop worrying about me. I'll get over it. I always do, okay? and the global pandemic rages on. More than 500,000 people have died of COVID-19, according to the World Health Organization. And at this point, the virus seems to be an unstoppable force. You know, some millions of people being infected over a, a, a period of several years. Yeah.
away Robert. You should never take the deal that Howie offers. It's just reruns again, man. Besides, Howie never checks anyone. That's you. Straight talk. What would you guys do with a million dollars? Blow it all. Blow it all on what? Fucking drugs and hookers, bro. Yeah! You know what I would do with a million dollars? What would you do with a million dollars? I'd buy a house for me and my family. That's a smart responsibility. Take care of your family. Honestly. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Hey, 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 check, check it out. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. No. Damn. That is incredible. That is a lot of fun. Oh my shit. If I had that much fucking money, I think I might actually be able to afford a house. I mean... Yeah, never mind. Yeah, you're right. Not yeah. here, at least. Not uh, here. Somewhere else. Rent prices are so fucking crazy nowadays. My landlord spiked 20% on me last month. 20%? Yeah. How much did that come up to? 900 a month now. Can you fucking believe that? Fucking bullshit. For one room. One room. Yeah. Can you believe that? It's fucking insane. Dude, my cousin the other day was telling me how she lost her job. And uh, so she has all these health issues. And then all of a sudden, oops, no health insurance. Sorry. She's Guess getting, I'll die. Yeah, shafted over by the American Medical. Welcome. This is a series in uh, which I am going to endeavor to put together uh, uh, pretty much uh, all of my work. Uh, my name is John Ravakey. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Toronto. I'm in the psychology department and in the cognitive science program. And I also teach for the Buddhism, psychology, and mental health program. I've produced a lot of videos on a lot of various topics. Some of you have perhaps seen them. But what I want to do now in this series is draw it all together. Experiencing a profound meaning crisis, a crisis in meaning. We have what seems to be, although there, you know, people are disputing it, but I think the evidence is becoming clearer and clearer. The CDC just released some data recently. We're going through a me mental health crisis. Suicide is spiking. Right? There's an increasing sense Many people are expressing it, of losing touch with reality. We encounter more and more often in individuals and groups nihilism, expressions of cynicism, expressions of deep kinds of frustration and futility. You have the abandonment of trust in any of our public institutions. We're losing, right, we, we've completely lost any sort of faith or trust in our political system. We're losing faith in our judicial system, right? Uh, there's an increasing sense of more and more bullshit everywhere, almost to the point of being a, a constant factor in our background. It's people talking about crisis and collapse, apocalypse, the zombie apocalypse, the imminent collapse of civilization. All of these things are now pervasive. <laughs> 
people are getting the sense that we're spending, and you can see this already in the public media, but it's, it's also within the academic world, that we're spending too much time in our virtual environments. There seems to be increasing evidence, for example, of right, a connection between various social media, increased depression, increased loneliness. Religious affiliation is declining consistently throughout people's participation. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Oh, hey. What can we do for you? Uh, I'm just looking around right now. Okay, for anything special? Did you buy today, uh, 65? Um, <laughs> yeah, what about that gray one? The gray gun? Let me grab it for you. Yeah. There you go. It's a nice gun. What do you think? Can we get that for you today? Eight hundred. Seven ninety nine plus tax in the background check. I think I'll think about it for right now. Okay, sounds good. Let me know if I can help you out. Okay. Selling this, David? Oh, you know, I'm a student, so I'm kind of with the money. Okay, yeah, I've been there before. Yeah. Awesome. So, how much is it again? Um, eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Is, is it cool if I demo you? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Just so you just take it. And yeah. Take it now. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, huh? it's yours. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you.
sheltering and supplying terrorists. before they left? Yeah. We started to reconnect, I guess. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. It's really good that you made it. It means a lot to Grandma. She missed you a lot. You are her favorite, after all. Yeah. Oh, I um, I saw that post by the way. What was that about? I decided to start a new book. To try again. Fresh new start. That's awesome. Will you let me read it this time? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look how big he's gotten. <laughs> Guys, I got full leather armor Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be careful! <laughs> I swear, that boy is hyper. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Hey, it's me, Cass. You never answer your text, but I'm just calling about the family reunion for our newest baby cousin we're having next month. 
you've never been this depressed before. I'm getting kind of worried, so you should come by. We miss you. Okay, bye. Hey, baby boy, you never call. Why are all my children shut-ins? Me and your dad were going to that baby shower. I'd like to see my eldest child at least once this year. I'd really like to hear from you more than four times a year. A mama has a right to see her child call me. Hey, <clears throat> I just got off the phone with Cass. Don't let it get you down, okay? You just gotta keep at it. And you're pursuing your dream. That's a lot more than most people ever do with their lives. I <laughs> just want you to know that I'm proud of you. Don't lose hope, okay? Just keep at it. <laughs> What was her name again? Ember. Isn't she just the cutest? She's a very cute baby, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you feeling any better? Yeah. Yeah, I am. are you feeling? Alive. I... I feel alive. 